So you're going into middle school, eh? Well, whether you're forced to come here or willing or complying, you're gonna need another rope, kid. How about we learn about Lockers, short for Little Optimal Cabinets for Kids and Enlightenment Resources. Everyone has them. These lockers can hold all your stuff. If it's valuable, I would recommend getting a lock. Nothing valuable, eh? Well, isn't your grade valuable? I wouldn't trust these people unless you know them like the back of your hat. I would recommend getting a lock if I were you. This is one of the many classrooms you will find. This one teaches English. Teachers will make or break your experience, so get on the good side if you want those juicy good grades. Hello there. Hi. Now, now, don't talk to your friends while the lesson's being taught. Otherwise, the teacher will move you to different sides of the classroom. Hey, you survived your first class. Congratulations! Now you have four minutes to get to your next class. Ah, uh, lighten up a little. All you have to do is... <gasps> get past the sea of students, go to your locker, put your stuff in, take the stuff out that you need, close your locker, use the bathroom, and get a drink if needed. <laughs> get past even more students, find the classroom, enter said classroom, and sit down. I'm in the wrong classroom. Typically, you'd be in a cafeteria for lunch. However, because of coronavirus, current world events, you'll have to eat in a homeroom or advisory class. You'll typically have 25 to 30 minutes to eat. You can either get your own home lunch or you can pay the school to get lunch for you. Unlike some other filthy public schools, the food here is quite good. Just try to get it from the lunch ladies, not the shady guy in the corner. Got the good stuff? Advisory. The class where you can either not do anything because you're a good student or attempt to do all of your classroom in one sitting because you procrastinate. Not this one. These beings, my friend, are known as bullies. You may encounter a few of them throughout the year. I wouldn't recommend messing with them, especially if they're taller than you. I also wouldn't recommend messing with anyone shorter than you. I see that you have found a potential love interest, huh? Well, I hope you are prepared to talk to her. After all, you did axe bomb yourself at home, so you should smell refreshing. Hi, I just died on your arms tonight. Hi there. I I mean, I um I I'm I um uh, I What a loser am I, right? <laughs> Now you're about to change for gym class. I will give you one piece of advice. Go into the locker room and get out as quickly as your nimble legs can carry you. Say, how was your first day of school, kid? Do you think it's pretty safe? Well, you're wrong. Just look at that strict teacher. And those theater students. Do you really think this place is safe? Of course it isn't. The only safe place is your bedroom. 
Just look at how lonely and introverted these are. There isn't a person in sight. Plus, there's in bed in case you want to sleep without teachers yelling at you. Bedrooms are a safe haven where you can do anything you want, whether it be exercise, reading, or crying because you have the big sad. And that, my friend, is how you survive middle school. Avoid it as much as possible. Thank you for watching this informational video, and good luck out there, kiddo.